Yeah, so we are at an XV system that we installed in 2017. And the guy never got it serviced. Never messed with it. Oh, there's a roach in there crawling around. Never gets it cleaned or does anything with it. And it's on a hard lockout. Uh, 18408 hard lockout, max number of lockouts. And then I go in there and I'm asking him about does he, does he had it service since it was installed? Oh no, nobody told me I had to do that. Yeah, we did. He chose not to do it. He even asked me, are there filters in it? You'd think after eight years of having a unit on your house, you'd know where your damn filters are. So that's funny. But anyway, we're in a hard lockout on this thing, and I might have to reset the power. Alright, for whatever reason, I'm not seeing my screen on my phone from my GoPro app, so I hope you can see what I'm pointing this camera at. But anyway, I've reset the power. I've got my probe hooked up to check the pressure on it. Let's cycle it back on, see what happens. Give it time to reestablish communications, but I mean, yeah, this guy... This is kind of a ritzy area in downtown, inside the Beltline crowd. If you're familiar with Raleigh, North Carolina, you know the difference between people in the Beltline and outside the Beltline. It's just a, and there I feel the raindrops. Here that shit goes. Anyway, I'm waiting on this thing to reboot. Let me go grab my umbrella and stick it up here. Evidently, I got a helicopter because when I came back with my umbrella, he was standing out here. So I sent him back inside to make sure the thermostat was still calling for cooling. He doesn't. He must, I guess, maybe a lawyer or something in a field that doesn't require any kind of basic technical. Abilities, I don't know, but we're waiting for this thing to come back on. Let's see what kind of pressures I get on it when it's running. going down on low pressure right there 60 psi I'm gonna go put it in charge test mode and see what happens so here we are now it's starting to rain of course he didn't want to stand here beside me during when that happened he went and stood in the garage so I'm cycling the power again I'll put it in test mode cooling I'm suspecting a loss of refrigerant charge or a sensor problem up on the air handler, maybe. Let's reset it and see what happens. And we'll put this door back on here in a minute. But this is just, he don't, yeah, he, 
he saw all that and go, well, how does that get in there? I said, that's because you don't do maintenance on it. But we clean that stuff out of there. So, yeah. There's some special ones out there. So let's wait for this thing to boot back up. Lean my umbrella a little bit. Try to keep some of the rain. I mean, it's not pouring rain. It's just a kind of a drizzle with large drops. And you don't want to get water anywhere in this thing or you're going to have a mess. Alright, she just clicked. We're in test mode there. We'll see what our pressures do. Oh, my umbrella just fell. kids up from school so if you look right there you can see the oil around those u-bends and I went ahead and got the H10 maybe I can check that with bubbles but see how clean everything else is in there and you can see like this thing's been off all day so there's no water no moisture in here it's only 70 degrees outside Outdoor unit's been on a lockout since yesterday. So that's not water. That's, that's oil up in there. So I know it's this coil. So I know good and well that's where it's leaking at. We've got all this oil down here in the bottom of this air, air deflector. So I know our leaks in the coil. I mean, it is what it is. But, I mean, it's all back here, all down this thing, so it's been running running off with the water. But that's going to be where our leak is at. So, we'll uh, check availability on a coil and quote him to swap it out. It should still be under warranty, but not the labor, not the materials, not the refrigerant, none of that. 